So today we are reviewing the legendary hand cannon, the Flood. This gun is awesome. I, I, lo I love the gun, don't get me wrong. It's, I think it's awesome. I think it's a legendary thing, it's really cool. So the red text says, take us. It has a 10% critical damage and 50% reload speed. That's pretty good. Obviously, like J every Jacobs, or almost every Jacobs, the critical hits ricochet off one bullet to nearest enemies so that's usually the a thing with jacob's weapons so what does this gun do so this gun is really weird it's better if i just show you in most cases that's how pretty much every gun is in this game but it's not bad i don't think i just let you only see that's it. It shoots really fucking fast. Like, like really fast. Don't get me wrong. I, oh, wow. I usually never get these guys to uh, spawn in. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad gun by any means. It really is not. I think it's fine. I think it's, it does the job. I just think it could have been better. Especially since some of the damage is not like the best I've seen especially to like some other guns don't get me wrong it's I love this gun but I love it for the fact that like it's a cool perk I think it's really cool so yeah the, the fact that you can shoot your whole your whole magazine into one dude is fucking cool but that's the thing you shoot your whole round or you you shoot your whole magazine into the one dude so the Rick and Morty boss. But yeah, like you shoot your whole thing into one boss or one person or one ad. I think it's, mm, it could have been better. But like I, said, like, like I said, I don't hate this gun. Most of the time when I see a new legendary drop and I don't know what it does, but it does something like that has something cool to it. I'm usually very forgiving. Because at, at the end of the day, not everything's supposed to be, like, the most powerful thing in the fucking world. I get that. It doesn't really bother me. But, like, if I use this while under this... It does it does damage. It, um, he's dead. It does damage. I'm not, I'm not saying it does not do damage. It's just... God damn it, this guy again. <clears throat> it's just for me... I don't see me, I don't see myself using this over like the companion, which is one of my favorite, and it's Jacob's as well. It's one of my favorite weapons because it does fire damage. Uh, I, like I said, I don't think it's a bad legendary. I just don't think it's for me. I do think it works better for people who can generate their, their ammo. So like Flack, when he's in his, um, in this one like I said in the last video mist um, gorillas in the mist did get a nerf but it's still pretty good I did hear that they're trying to they're seeing to see if they can nerf uh, our ammo recovery because we do have an ammo recovery so if that happens then I guess this gun uh, most guns too would just kind of be like eh, like whatever really especially this gun this gun in gorillas of the mist is good especially if you can keep procking that ammo to come back because if you could just keep doing it, it it puts in the work it's just like i said there's so many other ones that are just better but the ship the fact that this gun is that fast is the whole reason i'm just like this gun's pretty fucking cool because of that but if it just had like a cool reload animation or anything i would still say like it's cool it's just it's not great so that's my review for it i do have some other guns that i do like and whatnot but i'm gonna start to really show like what i really think about these guns like i said i don't think this gun is great or it's amazing but i do think like it's a niche not even a niche gun i think it's a fine gun it's fine that's the best i can say so let me know what you guys think i'm actually wrong about this gun is it really powerful let me know in the comments below don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and don't forget to follow um subscribe to this channel so i will see you guys later and yeah later